Hi, I'm Aiman, and welcome back to my gardening videos. Today's segment is going to be about blueberries. First of all, welcome to my lovely blueberry row. We can't quite call it a patch yet, but we're going to use this as our backdrop for talking about blueberries. In this video, here's the plan. We're going to be, first, we're going to be talking about why we got these blueberries. Then we're going to be talking about um, mainly how we grew them and how we're planting them. And then finally, we're going to talk about um, some facts about blueberries and some interesting things about them. And then we'll see where we'll go on from there. All right, so first off, the backstory. So let me take you back to the summer of 2017. And we just finished camping. So we usually go camping, uh, me, my, my family and my uh, family's friends, we usually go camping in a large group. But after that, we usually go to some sort of a nice pasture or some, some, so, some sort of other place to relax. In 2017, we went to a uh, blueberry orchard and we decided to go pick blueberries. That trip, because, it was, because there were so many of us, costed around $200 because it's $15 per person to go blueberry picking. So my, thought, my dad thought that was insane, especially since we, after we picked the blueberries, we stored them in the fridge. And after, as they were in the fridge, they went bad. So he thought uh, $200 for blueberries that are going bad, uh, it doesn't seem worth it. So he decided that it just seems like a better deal to buy them. And it's an even better deal when he bought them because when he bought these, he bought them at the end of the season. When you buy plants at the end of the season, they're usually cheaper because you know they're hard to grow and they're usually dying. So he found these blueberry plants, they were usually $9.99, but he found them for 70% off. So they were like $3 a piece. Over here, we actually have seven new blueberry plants that he found from Home Depot. So altogether, it was $21. Previously, we only had these two blueberry bushes that were growing somewhere over there. And they were growing fine, but we wanted to expand it so that we could, ourselves, we could actually plant and pick our own blueberries instead of having to pay an worker to go pick them. Uh, but back to uh, the blueberry picking, I think it was in New York, I think it was called um, Ellsworth Worker. And what happened was, let me, let me uh, further clarify this, because $200 does seem like a steep price to pay for blueberries. You don't actually have to pay for going in to pick blueberries. Uh, you actually pay for the blue blueberries themselves. So at the end of it, we still bought $200 worth of blueberries that went bad in the fridge. So that's kind of bad. Um, however, if you do go blueberry picking, you can still eat the blueberries off the bush so you don't have to pay for them. Um, there might be some rules on that, so don't quote me on that. But if you ever go blueberry picking in the future, just keep that in mind. Um, as for the blueberries that we have here, what we did with them was we bought them from Home Depot, like I said, and as you can see, we bought different varieties. So over here we have, they're all high bush blueberries, but this one has different names like Jubilee, Legacy, uh, like, uh, I think this is uh, Jaybird, uh, Blue Jay. And I think that one is called Elliot. So there's all these different types of species of blueberries that we got from Home Depot. And by the end of the season, they, they kind of looked um, in, in a, in a pretty, pretty bad condition, especially since they were at the end of the season. So what we did was my dad decided to buy them and decided to see if he could make them work. So he bought these last year and we planted them in sort of early to mid spring. And that's the best time to plant blueberries. And as you can see, the berries are actually showing up. So it looks like we were able to save these blueberry bushes that were, you know, that, that were dying at the end of the season and turn them into fully fruiting, actually showing blueberries shrubs. That wasn't a coherent sentence, but I'll continue. All right, so uh, uh, there's a few things I should mention. Uh, one, you can watch the video of us actually picking blueberries on my YouTube channel. I think that was from 2017, so you might have to look in that time period. Uh, my dad also might have gotten these blueberry bushes from Lowe's maybe, so I might be wrong on that. It could be. But actually getting to the planting of these blueberry bushes, uh, they say that you're supposed to, first off, you're supposed to plant blueberries in sort of patches. They're supposed to be close together so that it helps boost production. If they're far away, spread around the backyard, they're not gonna grow as well. So that's what we have here. We have them in sort of a row. They also say that you're supposed to plant them about four feet apart. Uh, unfortunately, uh, however, we've seen people actually plant them two feet apart like we have done here, and they've grown well, like uh, Uncle Use. So as you can see, I mean, it looks like our strategy by planting them two feet apart is working okay. Um, also, you also wanna make sure that you plant them in the right soil. First off, it, your, your soil should be acidic. Uh, because blueberry plants love acidity and also your soil should be good at holding water but not for too long it shouldn't be uh, waterlogged i should say 
uh, basically you should plant them in as you can see we here we have we have them planted in tires but you can plant them in other things like planters you can plant them in raised garden beds the only requirement is that they can hold water but not for too long all right so let me clarify what I mean to say is that the soil should drain well so that's you could you could plant it in the ground which would be okay but as long as you don't plant it in something like clay soil which holds water fairly well your blueberry plant should be okay and also we have this mulch here in order to sort of help hold this water in um, like I said before you could plant them in planters raised beds and tires because they sort of help with preventing any water logging all right so here's the thing when you plant blueberries you plant them in early mid spring and when you harvest them they should ripen around uh, late June to August and actually they have been ripening before however we are not we're, we're we're lucky in the mornings to get one or two blueberries because if you look at this you can see there are no ripe blueberries the reason why is birds birds always come down and eat our blueberries so we never actually get to eat them you know, I had a plan to actually invite my friends over to, you know, pick, pick blueberries, but uh, I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to do that with all the birds here. So the plan is we're going to probably put some fencing around the blueberry bushes and probably some netting over it so that the birds can't touch our blueberries because blueberries are important to us, uh, which we'll get to later. But this is, this is kind of depressing though. All of these are green. Um, we'll see. Also, like I said before, you should plant blueberries, like uh, blueberry pants, at least four feet apart. And apparently you should plant rows, like rows of blueberries farther apart. So I'm not sure how that fencing option is going to work, but uh, we'll see in the future. I'll let you, I'll keep you posted. Another thing I should mention is that when you buy blueberry plant, uh, plants from uh, pretty much stores like Home Depot or Lowe's, you should wait a couple of years before actually picking them. When you're growing them in the first few years, you want to remove berries in order to boost uh, blueberry plant growth. Uh, but really, who, who wants to wait a couple of years to eat blueberries? So we're just going to eat them this year. Uh, now we're going to get to the, I guess, uh, informational section of this video, where we're going to talk about the actual blueberry and sort of a few different facts about it. So first off, blueberries are sort of like corn. They're the product of uh, scientific uh, genetic manipulation and selective breeding that allows plant, uh, scientists to, to create blueberry plants that we can grow in our own gardens. Because prior to the 1900s, blueberries could only be found in the wild. Uh, and actually, uh, the, the blueberries that we think of nowadays, they're cultivated, and they were invented in the 1900s in North America. So I think nowadays, the majority of people who, uh, distributors of blueberries are actually from North America. I think the number is 4% of blueberries in the world are sold by Europe. But, and 96 are from North America, but that's a tangent. Essentially what I'm saying is that nowadays, we can grow blueberries in our gardens instead of in the wild because of genetic manipulation and selective breeding. All right. To add on to this, blueberries themselves are highly beneficial foods. They're high in antioxidants, which help with uh, preventing aging. Uh, not preventing, but helping with the aging process. And they also help reduce problems like um, heart disease or uh, blood pressure. So blueberries themselves are a very good superfood. Um, and I guess that's pretty much the end of the informational segment. So basically, let me sum down this video into a few talking points. All right, so by, if by the time that you're watching this video, it's uh, August, and you're probably like on the fence about whether or not to buy blueberry pants and grow them on your own, it probably is a good time because they're probably gonna be on sale might even find them for 70% off like my dad did and as you can see they can even start producing blueberries in the first year after you plant them so it's a very good decision just make sure that you plant them with the right um, uh, details in mind like make sure that the soils right make sure you plant them in the right uh, containers and make sure you plant them uh, the right uh, space apart from other plants or the right place close to other blueberry bushes and even if you don't plant them to, even if you aren't able to eat the blueberries in the first few years, the birds are still able to eat them in the first few years. So you're not just helping yourself by eating those superfoods, those high antioxidant, uh, nutritious vitamin, a lot of these good things in, in blueberries, you're not just eating that for yourself, you're also growing them for the bugs and the birds and all those animals around you that can eat them as well. Just like the woodchucks and the, and the cats in my garden. Now that I think about it, 
I'm not sure if Burton or Aurelia eat the blueberries, but they definitely do sleep in them. Uh, maybe we have some pictures, but I'm not sure. I've, they always love to hang out under the shade of the blueberries. Um, that's also another thing. You should make sure that these, these blueberry plants grow in uh, a lot of sun. Uh, but I guess that's a good note to end the video on. So I'm Ayman, and thanks for watching. Today we talked about blueberry bushes, our backstory for getting these blueberry bushes, how to plant them, and a few other facts about blueberries themselves. So I'm going to be doing a few, a few other similar videos on uh, foods around our foods, fruits and vegetables around our garden, like cucumbers, uh, which are actually over there, which you should go check out those videos. But for now, I'm Ayman, thanks for watching. If you like, comment, subscribe, look at videos on I and Ayman, especially the gardening videos, and like I said, the cucumber video, and I'll see you there. Signing out.